Hello everyone, my name is Chet Marchwinski. I'm the Communications Director at the Lean Enterprise Institute and I'd like to welcome to this uh, conversation with three of the Lean Management Movement's thought leaders. And just to introduce everyone, we have John Shook, who is the uh, CEO of the Lean Enterprise Institute. And we have Dan Jones, who is the founder and chairman of the Lean Enterprise Academy in the UK. And Jim Womack, who is the founder and is now senior advisor, formerly CEO of the Lean Enterprise Institute. So, gentlemen, I just wanted to begin at, at the beginning of lean production. Um, 25 years ago, uh, in 1988, uh, a um, research team at MIT that was headed by uh, uh, Jim uh, produced a, um, a paper that appeared in Sloan Management Review that introduced the term uh, lean production. So just looking back, if you had it to do over, would you change the name? We had to have a name. Things have to have a name. Important things really have to have a name. And our problem in the mid-80s was that most people wanted to apply off-putting Japanese names. And they wanted to name it after people or after companies. So why don't we call it the Toyota thing? And that seemed to us to be missing the point, that uh, the whole idea here was to get everyone exposed to these ideas so they could do them. So why call it something that was uh, from one organization? So we decided we needed a descriptor, sort of what does it do? And that was where uh, John Kraftchik, who was uh, now the head of Hyundai in, North, uh, in the US, uh, at a whiteboard uh, said, let's name it for what it does. And we listed all the things that it did. And it was less, less time, less effort, fewer errors. So we said, uh, he said, uh, and I seconded it, um, and Dan thirded it, um, let's call it lean. And that was a satisfactory solution to a problem at that time. Uh, don't forget that all uh, countermeasures, as we say, try to say, uh, are good in a time and a place. And at some future time and place, uh, there's always uh, the inclination to look back and say, gosh, uh, we could have called it something else, and it would have been okay. But look, I don't feel that. The, the problems with the name, and, and Dan uh, has a, a few more, but uh, the problems were that it talks about less. You know, it's less, and what we meant was it, more value with less of everything. Less time, less effort, fewer errors. More with less. And then later in the Lean Thinking book, uh, we tried to talk about a more perfect value that actually gets the end customer what they really want, not just what the company wants to sell. So not just more value, but if you will, better value with less. And what the world heard uh, in many cases was less, mm. that we're going to take people out we're going to close plants, we're going to move away, or whatever, lean all these, mean. lean is mean. And uh, that expression, of course, uh, we didn't have anything to do with that. It's been around forever, lean and mean. And so, uh, therefore, the danger was we would be mean. Now, you've uh, dealt with this on a global basis. Well, yeah, some I, comments about how it doesn't translate well. Well, as we discovered, uh, the English language is rich in descriptors. Uh, many of whom, many of those don't actually translate into any known language. So we struggled in many countries with uh, the misunderstanding or the mistranslation of lean. And in many cases, people named it, you know, all kinds of things, but came back to, to using lean in the end. So actually, we've introduced lean into the language, to the business language of, uh, of most cultures like Germany and France and uh, Spanish and Portuguese and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and even Japanese, I think. So I, I think actually Lean now has an identity of its own. And uh, if certainly if people use the term Lean, it ha also has a heritage and it has a reference point. Mm -hmm. So it actually allows us in a sense to continue to define what we mean by Lean. Uh, there are many other people who want to use it for different purposes and, and mistranslate it and misuse it. Mm -hmm. But actually, Lean has a pedigree, and it has a, it originated in that study, but actually that was a symptom also of, uh, of understanding the origins uh, of the reference model that, we, that give it strength, and that's the Toyota reference model. Mm 